Hey pilots, Drain Man here and today we are checking out a brand new brushless flight controller. This bad boy right here is not a 4-in-1, it is a 5-in-1. It is $49.99 and packs so many features into a brushless little tiny under 4 gram flight controller that you are just not going to want to miss this. Let's go. All right, pilots, so here's the deal. This flight controller by Beta FPV, who is not new to this type of stuff, has packed so much into such a tiny board. This board is 3.6 grams. That means there's it's nothing. It weighs nothing. Nothing. And it's got so much on it, we're just going to have to go over it. We are. We're just going to have to go over it. But then we're going to take it and we're going to stick it in a whoop. And we're going to show you how it does. At least I want to find out. I would imagine you want to find out. So something you may want to know is that this is the first flight controller ever that has the G4. It is the 1S brushless flight controller with a G4 MCU. Because the G4 MCU is nearly double the CPU speed of an F411, which is just what we're used to with all of our little guys. So let's go ahead and see what is popping on the inside. Oh my God. Oh. So really quick, let's see what else it comes with because it's already pushing the lot for 50 bucks. Opening this up. Oh, 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 oh. You got everything you could ask for. Oh, so we've got USB Type-C connection. And then our connector here is the BT 2.0. This is one of the most tried and true connectors that you can have on a Whoop drone because the other ones can cause problems. But I will say I may have to run the other one just for the simple fact that I have so many batteries that are in the other connection. But we'll deal with that when we get there. You've got your QR code for help if you need it. You've got your VTX antenna. That is a dipole right there. And then you've got everything you need to mount your stack. You've got your four grommets and your four screws all in the box all ready to go all right so i want to dive in a little deeper i'm seeing a lot of chips i'm seeing a lot of beautiful artwork here and it's going to be a lot to see through this camera right here i mean even at full zoom you probably won't be able to see much at all so there's only one way to tackle this and that is with the scopey scope let's dive in all right, pilots, so with the scope open, we can jump into the goodies. Let's go ahead and dive in. So the first thing I want to take a look at is this chip right here. Look at that bad baby. So right there, we've got a beautiful SX128X. That is a transceiver chip that is going to work in compatibility with our built-in RX. That's right. That's one of the steps, one of the fives that makes this a five-in-one is there is a built-in 2.4 ELRS receiver. And then right here, you're going to see our actual RX antenna. So that's pretty sweet. We've got a connector right here. This connector is going to be our camera in. So when we plug in our camera and we will get there, that is what's going to connect their camera. Boop. Then you're going to move along right here. You're going to notice some stuff. This is for our ESCs. We'll get there. Right here, you've got a UFL connector. That is going to be for our dipole antenna, which you can feel free to upgrade to any UFL connection antenna that you'd like. It just connects just like that. Boop and then you push down and you're connected. All right, let's keep moving on. So as we move forward, you're gonna see this big, beautiful chip right in the middle, and you're probably saying, okay, well, there's our MCU, right? Well, wrong, that is not the MCU. This big, beautiful chip right here is actually our VTX chip. That's what's putting out 400 milliwatts on a built-in board that is no bigger than like a silver dollar. A silver dollar dominates this in size. All right, moving right along as we head over here to the side, you're gonna see some connections. You've got your battery in, you've got your battery ground, you've got some other things going on. Oh, what is this? Oh, they don't mention this. Oh. 
So we've got a wind bond right here. Look at that. Anybody who doesn't know what wind bond is or doesn't know what these chips are, they are your onboard flash right on your flight controller. There's no like SD card extension where you plug in an SD card, none of that stuff. It is a chip that is built in and on board and hold in the magic, okay? Okay, so moving right along, we've got a ARM chip right here. This is actually an MCU. This is a GD32F310. It's an onboard uh, MCU chip. So right here in the bottom left-hand corner, you've got an RX and a TX and a five volt. So that's if you need to go ahead and power something. You've got your ICM and that is a 42688P. That's your gyro, that's an awesome uh, gyro to have on such a tiny chip. It really is. Such a tiny board, such a tiny chip, doing so much. It's quite incredible. It really is. And then you've got your current sensor right here. That's this one right here. All right, so if we continue on, we're going to flip this board over really quick where it only does one thing, and that is gets even better. So we're going to move quicker on this side. So right up here in the top, 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 that is going to be your ELRS chipboard. That is your um, your RX boot or your ESP8285, whatever you want to call it. You've got another RX and TX right here. You have got stuff laid out to wazoo. I mean, with the plugs and the micro and the chips and the space and the everything. They've even found the time and the space and everything to lay out all these pads. I just, I just don't get it. But there you go, you've got your camera uh, 5 volts ground, and then rolling across the top right here, you've got everything from TX, RX, 5 volt ground, you've got a buzzer minus and a bu uh, buzzer plus right here, you've got your motor connections, uh, this is for motor number 4, motor number 3, motor number 2, and motor number 1, all right here, all laid out, ready to go. Here's your BB51 chips. Uh, we've got already gone over this plug. This is where you plug in for your um, uh, USB type C. You've got a crystal oscillator. Here is your G4. Look at that STM32 G4 chip. Absolutely incredible. And then here is one of your five, right? Five and one. This is on board OSD. Not happening. Not happening. You are generally not getting. OSD on something this small, this tiny, with so much built in, VTX and RX and flight controller and ESC, and then you've also got OSD. Ugh, that is freaking sweet. All right, so it just keeps getting better and just keeps getting better. And then you've got more connections laid out. You've got your boot button right here. Down here at the bottom, you've got connections for LEDs if you want. You've got other connections over here, your DMDP. You've got your ground, your 5 volt over here. Oh, look at this. It just gets better and better. I, I, I can't get over it. What I want to do is just take a few minutes, load all this up, and put it on a whoop, and take it for a spin, because why not, right? It's a five-in-one. We've got 400 milliwatts. We've got ELRS, which was one of the fastest protocols with some of the best range. We're going to run all that right now, right here. So let's go ahead and dive into that. All right, pilots. So for this build, I want to use their newest, latest, and greatest. This is the Meteor 65 Air Brushless whoop frame okay we've got that right there it comes in black and white let me show you there may be other colors but these are the two that I got sent super cool and that is gonna rock this just like this just in case you were unsure so that's going to be our frame and our flight controller, which is obviously much more than a flight controller, ESC, receiver, VTX, OSD, all on one board for... <laughs> It's crazy. Let's take a look at these brand new Ice Blue motors just hit the market. They are absolutely gorgeous. That is an 0702 special edition 23,000 kV chrome with Ice Blue motor. Whew, that is gorgeous. And that's what we're going to use. And I'm going to pair that up with these HQ props. These are the 31 millimeter ultralight props. There is our camera. And that's that little plug that we were talking about that plugs right into this plug that's right here. I'll show you. See it right there? 
Boom. Now, if you're the type of pilot who wants to run external, right? You want an external RX, you're a crossfire guy, you're a whatever ghost guy, and you don't want the ELRS, or maybe you do want ELRS, but you want a long range it for real, and that's what you want to do, you can do that. You just wouldn't purchase the five in one. This same exact beautiful board comes in a four in one, and they cut the top off. And the four in one, the five in one is now a four in one, and you can extend your own receiver. All right, pilots, I am not going to drag you through this entire process. I'm just going to slap it together. It's literally going to take me like 10 minutes because this is just so simple. So I'm going to go ahead and put it together, and I'll meet you back here. Oh, hoo, hoo. all right, pilots, this puppy is sweet. You got the white on black with the clear props, the ice blue motors, and the five-in-one stack to top it off was just incredible. I've got my flight controller, my ESC, all in one. Then I've got my OSD, which was nice because I had everything on my screen displayed, ready to go. And then I've got a 400 milliwatt VTX, which normally... When I'm flying through the house and I head to the back bedroom, I head out to the patio, and I'm, and then, I start to lose, you know, video footage just a little bit. With this puppy, it's holding strong because I'm running 400 milliwatts. Usually, guys like this are 200 at best. Okay, then you put the icing on the cake, and I went ahead and had my ELRS receiver paired up and bound to my Radio Master. Oh, everything just worked together so nice. It took me about 10, 15 minutes. Soldering up the motors was the hardest thing and how hard is that everything went together so nice so easy i'm just so impressed and it all stems back to that beautiful beautiful flight controller so pilots i hope that you'll stick around for the flight footage i hope that you'll go get your own five in one or if you want to four in one air brushless flight controller by beta fpv i hope that you guys had as much fun as i did and i will see you on the next one I don't know if I'm okay, I don't see the light of day Looking up to higher ground, thinking that'll be your sweet escape These days gotta schedule the romance, they say that love is a slow dance A short bike ride to the crib, using no hands, oh, did it feel like I'm floating? But I'm falling with both eyes closed when I let the world spin Testing the water, she got my nurse tense Back when I ain't even have a purpose I was so eager to learn some things Anxiety bring out the worst to me Society paint me as enemy My n****s making it by off that remedy I'm more occasional, don't do it regularly Backs under my eyes, weighing down heavily Mama been worried, the devil allegedly Deep in the plan, subconsciously wanted it since I was 10 I thought I was sharp on my scroll and my pen thinking dead So mama found she did them legs She told me that's not who I am but nowadays I put on for the fam, see you when I can I'm surrounded by my feelings, I'm stuck on a Ferris wheel I bet I perish with 140 acres She wants the horse and the carriage, a horse and a portion of garbage I talk to the mirror, I know that life's not the fairest I lost my can, I can't pay off the bills with the blessing I sure I relate to the Reddit page It's feeling like money is everything Money is everything It's everything I need Till I lay my eyes on you What this is, yeah, but it feel like it's real, baby. I don't wanna pretend, no. I just wanna come clear 